What's good guys? Mookie here. I'm with Nidra. We are cooking a chicken stir fry on Mookie's meals. Man, I'm excited to bring this. I have some questions I want to ask Nidra. But before, you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell them a little bit about like what you do in fitness and know you have clients and everything. And I'm also going to drop her YouTube and Instagram below. So everybody go follow her. Show her support. She has a bunch of awesome content. She helps a lot of people. So super dope. Cool. Well, thanks, Moogie. Um, so what's up, guys? My name is Nidra, and um, I am a personal trainer and coach. I run an online business and an in-person business called Organic Compound Fitness. Um, this is something that I officially launched over this whole quarantine madness. Um, definitely took the time to really hone over my personal training business. Um, but I've been exercise training now for about eight years. Um, I absolutely love it with a passion. I absolutely love helping people lose weight, get in shape, convert their lives to a more active lifestyle. So when Mookie hit me up and was like, Nidra, let's do this video, let's cook some meals, I was like right up my alley. I love to cook, I love to eat, and I love to make meals that are healthy, delicious, and still good to eat. So that's what we're here to do today. Yep, and I'm telling you, when we were doing the entire like ingredient stuff, she was like, what was that one? Ingredient? I had no idea what it was even called. The bean like sprouts? I, yeah. No, no, no. The healthier soy sauce. Oh, um, the, well, the, there was the two. Because the there was the coconut aminos and then that there was one. the amino brags, too. Yep, yep. Two, yeah. So it's like, that's what I, I love doing these type of videos and why I want to bring on other people in the fitness industry or who know about nutrition because I get to learn, like selfishly, like I get to learn so much and then in turn, I want to share the information. I told you guys I've been struggling with my food and everything lately. The last two to three months I had plateaued. I've been eating out a lot. So this is a way to get me back, learn some new recipes. I've been talking for the last like four months about making a stir fry. So we're going to do it today. Yes. So um, let's get it going. Yes. Um, okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to do a breakdown real quick of the ingredients. I have... The two chicken breasts that are over here, still kind of thawing out a little bit in some cold water. Don't thaw your chicken out in warm water. Um, after that, we've got all of our ingredients here, everything that we're going to use. So we are going to add to our stir fry some shredded carrots. You can find something like this at the grocery store. We went to Trader Joe's today. Uh, shout out to Trader Joe's. <laughs> um, so we got their shredded uh, carrots. And then we're going to add some celery. So I'm going to chop up some celery, add some of that. Mine, Mookie and Mai's favorite broccoli, baby broccoli. We're gonna chop this up too. We're gonna add that into the mix. Uh, we're gonna chop up some onions. We're gonna add some bell peppers. So we're gonna add all of that. Um, and then how we're gonna season our chicken, we're gonna keep it super simple since we've got other flavors coming in. Um, we're gonna season the chicken with just some Himalayan salt and some black pepper. And uh, as far as like other cooking ingredients, we're gonna cook in the coconut oil here. We have our coconut aminos here, again, for flavor. And then we have some sesame oil as well. And uh, the last thing that we're gonna add to the mix is some garlic paste. So we'll add this one in while cooking the chicken and throwing in the veggies. Um, and then our side dish, because we always wanna make sure we include some type of carb, we're gonna use a brown jasmine rice. So with the brown jasmine rice, um, when it comes down to it, how you guys are like measuring out your food, everything is gonna be based on like macro base. So if you're, you know, if you wanna do, um, make something like this at home and you wanna do, um, let's say weigh out your chicken beforehand or after, you can do so and you just want to weigh it out to however many ounces you're going to need per meal. Um, to make this super, super simple, um, you really just need, you don't need all of these ingredients. You don't have to use every single thing. I mean, have the ingredients there, but cut up what you need, cut up the amount of chicken that you need, cook it together and make it super simple. Um, same thing with the brown rice, quarter cup, half a cup, whole cup, really depending on what macros you need um, and just cook that up. And yeah, so this is what we're doing. All right guys, so before we get to any of the cutting, what you wanna do is you wanna take your brown rice and you wanna start cooking your brown rice first. This is gonna save you so much time. Get your brown rice going, set your veggie trays up, and just get to cutting. All right guys, so I already washed and cleaned all my veggies. I got all my space here all nice and organized so I can go ahead and cut everything up. Um, I have one bowl that I'm gonna use today and I'm just gonna toss everything in there. We're making a stir fry so everything's gonna be mixed together anyway. So just to keep it simple, also just to keep the kitchen cleanup a lot easier, we're gonna go with minimal equipment. So 
I go out my onion, my celery, broccoli florets, and the bell peppers, and then Mookie's back here cutting up the chicken, getting that all ready for us. Um, so stay tuned. If you've been so consistent and you stick with it and you've been doing this now for so long, you've lost. What's your total amount so far? Oh man, so the heaviest I got in on the like when we started, I was like four forty. Mm -hmm. And you're in the twos right now. I was four fifty was like the most the most, but the heaviest I ever weighed was four seventy. Okay. Oh, like the biggest I've got to when I started with Kevin, I was four fifty, and now I'm two eighty. Okay, That's that about. alone took so much work. Yeah. To was... get you to where you are right now, and the fact that you stayed again so consistent with it, like your mindset has just gravitated like and has just grown yeah alone yeah with that too you know no and it's like that's kind of like well i have to give a lot of credit to kevin and i'm gonna end up keeping all this conversation in this video i don't even care how long it is whatever okay. yeah no that's cool but um yeah no it's like that was like a big thing for me was like mm -hmm. i had to find that mindset switch and make that like and it took a while. That's why I would say it's like till this day, mm -hmm. I wake up every morning and I work to like improve my mindset. And like, it's not just something that like happened so easily. And mm -hmm. that's why I say it's like, you can't think like it's that like Monday effect, you know, like I'm going to start my diet Monday. And you think mm -hmm. like on Monday, are you really going to just completely change everything? So it's like, I, I don't know. It's like to change your mindset. It takes a long time. Like you're not going to become David Goggins in like, just like after one run, you know, like it's like gonna take a big process and you have your ups and downs, but that's why it's consistency and doing it over a long period of time. Yeah, and then you actually just said it though too. You can't wake up and be like, oh, I'm gonna start Monday. I'm gonna start Monday because every single day it's gonna be I'm gonna start Monday. I'm gonna start Monday. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? So until you're like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna start Monday. I'm gonna start today, and you make that your priority, and you just it, it could be any day of the week. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the fact, but you did that. Yep, yep, and like that, that's. I, I'm blessed. That's why, like, honestly, and guys, like, I, I'm genuine when I say this. I'm, I'm talking to everyone on the YouTube. Like, that was a big thing for me. I think I, I saw, like, how much I struggled. And I was like, man, I really want to lose weight. And, like, I couldn't do it. And that's why, like, my last video I made, it's about, like, if you're someone who has the knowledge and you have a friend, um, it's sometimes hard to make that, like, conversation of, like, because, like, when... I know for me, like, I was super unresponsive, but, like, if you continue to make that effort, like, you might just be that person that clicks it with them and, like, makes that change in their life. And, like, that, at the end of the day, was what Kevin was for me. Like, he was that person out of all my friends that talked to me, tried to push me. Like, I'm blessed to have such, like, good friends around me. And that out of everyone that, that in the past that tried to help me, it was Kevin that, like made me click made me change my mindset and that i'm sure these are like i wanted to ask you like so you have like you've been a trainer so like you've worked with people that are overweight i'm sure and like mm -hmm. what have you kind of seen from like your clients like where do they struggle or they tell you like it's just different stories like i'm genuinely interested no and honestly every person is going to be different you know what I mean? Every person it comes with me something a little bit different. Um, you know, some people come with me, they just don't know how to eat and that's it. You know yeah. what I mean? They don't know, you know, should they have this meal with that meal? Should they eat the carbs because they, they're scared of carbs? You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's informing them of not being scared of carbs. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It's letting them know, like, it's okay to eat and it, it, it is, it, at the end of the day, I mean, science is science. It's all just going to be about what you put in is what you're going to get out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. How many calories you're burning in, how many calories you're getting exactly. out. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's letting them know, okay, hey, you can have brown rice. You can have white rice. You know what I mean? You can have red potatoes. It, but it's, again, moderation, balance. And so I'll have clients that will just want to work with me and just for the, the nutritional aspect. Yeah. Um, you know, but then I have, I have others that don't work out at all. Yep, you know, yep. so for them to not work out at all, it's creating a new mindset. Well, hey, you know, I I always one thing I always tell all my clients at the end of the day when they finish a workout, I said you did that. Yeah, that's you, true. Like, you did that. Like you be proud of that because I, I'm just here. I'm I'm the, I'm your support. But at the end of the day, you're the one that's getting up, meeting me at five in the morning. You're the one that's getting up, working out with me. You're the one that's putting in the work. You're the one that's being committed. And when you get to that mindset of like, I'm gonna do this today. You know, it's that's you. You did it. You know what I mean? I'm just here to support you. And, and that's what I help them to, to break that, that cycle of, you know, oh, I was just too tired. I didn't want to get up today. 
Yeah. You know, yep. no, no, no. Like, be excited to get up today. Like, make it like you have to. You have to just be happy. You have to just want to get up and just want to go help her. Well, yeah. that's for me. But straight up, like one thing she said, I touch base on. Yeah. Is that want? Is it get up and do it because if you're gonna hate every time you hate going to every workout and you have that negative mindset and that's what I used to. I'm like, oh, I have to get so much anxiety. I have to go work out with Kevin. Like, and I would it would overwhelm me. And then I swear it was like a week in and I, I made this. I just had to switch in my head. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna embrace the challenge. I'm just gonna go. And if you go watch the videos of me at 455. I would not say a word. I would literally feel like crying in pain. But I just kept my head down and did it and just grinded, it, guys. It's like you gotta you gotta enjoy it and want it and embrace embrace the pain and and, and man, it's gonna yeah. it'll be easy then. I feel like it's always good to to remind yourself that like my biggest thing is like what's your why? You know, like, why is it important to you? Is it important because, you know, you want to lose five pounds? Is it important to you because your your doctor is saying, hey, your cholesterol is up? Is it important to you because, you know, there, there's... Honestly, I could give you a list of reasons, but at the end of the day, you have to come back and remember like what your why is. And that has to be your drive every single day. That has to be your reason for getting up in the morning because your why is so much greater than the excuses that you're giving yourself because we're filled with excuses. Yep. Like I, I, I can make excuses every day. Oh, well, you know, I don't want to work out today because, you know, I just spent all day with clients. Yeah, you're right. But at the same time, what is that doing for me internally, mentally, externally? What I, I, I don't want to cook because I want to go get the quick fast food. We were talking we about were that drunk, off yeah. camera. Mm -hmm. Because that's what we do. You know, it's so much easier. Oh, well, if I just go through the drive through I can just pick this up real quick and, and you know, and, and buy this. And at least I ate. Yeah, you're right. You did eat. But is there any nutrients in the food? Is it helping your cells to function properly? Are you feeding your blood? Like, what are you feeding your body? Yep. If it you know what I mean? Yep. Nutrient dense and nutrient based foods is where it's at because now you're lowering your cholesterol levels. Now you're getting rid of the, the fatty cells. Now you're, you know, properly feeding your muscles. There's a ton of benefits to, to nutrient dense foods and based foods. So at the end of the day, like you have to really understand your why and get rid of the excuses of, oh, well, it takes me, you know, so long to cook. Let me explain. I will be in and out of the kitchen, dishes clean in an hour. Dishes clean, food cooked, everything. In an hour, hour, 15, 30 tops. It's just a matter of dedicating and getting it done. And not, not stressing about doing it, but instead just doing it. Yep, embracing it. It's part of, it's part of the journey. You gotta cook, mm -hmm. you gotta do the workouts. You gotta, and and uh, like, like Nidra said, your why has to be greater than the things that are holding you back from doing it, man. That's like... Mm -hmm. For us, it's a, it's living a long. Health. For me, I mean, I speak for myself. I can't speak for anyone else. But for me, I want to live a long, healthy life, and I want to uh, be the best version of myself. And that's like something I felt like I left for so many years. I I wouldn't do that, and now it's like, man, like I hate. I don't want to waste another day where I'm not pushing myself and seeing what I can do, like, and what my body can do. And that's like a, and that's what sucked when I was like. Um, I don't know if I even talked to you about it, but like about my like whole food addiction, I made the video, but that's what sucked is like, I'm like, man, this, this food has a grip on me, but that's a big thing I want to show people is possible. Like no matter if that food addiction is something you can fight and get past. And, yeah. and it's like with people like me just showing these bomb healthy meals, like I know I'm already knowing this is going to taste good and then doing this consistently and, <laughs> and, and uh, adding it in uh, into my routine. But quickly, Nidra, before we go on, yeah, 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 how should go. I cut the chicken? Like, I have them cut kind of like filleted, okay. even sized pieces, and then do you want it strips, cubes? So let's do, um, let's get them maybe like this, about like maybe like this big. Okay, so show, we show that. So we're going we're gonna to do them about like bite size, you know what I mean? So we have three chicken breasts, that's three chicken breasts? Yep. We have three chicken breasts, we're going to do them about bite size pieces and like thin. So like thin, bite size pieces. Yep, and then a quick rundown, guys, it's like. Like this. I don't know if you can see that, but like, like that. <laughs> cool. Perfect. Yeah. And then, uh, like right now we have all, all the ingredients. We went over the breakdown in the beginning. So right now I'm going to cut the camera because we've had it recording. We'll talk a little bit more in the outro and then every step of the process or the rest of the cooking, I'll grab it. So right now we're just prepping everything. When we season the meat, I'll show that. Throw it in the skillet. I think it's going to be, the rice is pretty straightforward. Okay, guys, so here's our chicken. This looks up like, uh, 
maybe about a little over two pounds, two and a half pounds of chicken. We have all the vegetables prepped and ready. Nidra's on the stove, getting it hot because you know uh, I got so much. People, so many people in my phone, like we're like. Don't cook your eggs on a cold thing because I was just in a rush. I Warm usually it don't do it. <laughs> so um, it's like a regular size spoon. Uh, Nidra, you said about two tablespoons? I would do about like two teaspoons. What does that look like? Probably like, because Himalayan salt is pretty. It's yeah. Got, yeah, we could probably do that. That's probably All right, kind guys, of actually. I hope that we ever every eat our shit pretty salty. Ke Kevin's a uh, big... Big proponent of pink salt. Electrolytes. They're good? Yeah, that's good. And then I'll just do the black pepper. Black pepper is a natural pepper in it too. I, I'm glad to hear that because I put black... My eggs, like... It might be, It probably is like disgusting to some people. I put so much black pepper on my eggs. So I'm glad to know that. Makes yeah. me feel... Honestly, like... So I'm going to say to people now, man, this is a natural hot pepper. <laughs> Yeah, um, you can, um, I think it's, um, I hope mustard I too. It. Like, mustard and black pepper are, like, go-tos for me. They're, like, staples. There's actually a few staples that I have. Yeah. Ooh, look how pretty the vegetables are. Look at that. Nidra with that prep in. So, here's that. I'm going to, obviously, mix all the seasoning in. I don't think we're too worried if this is, like, seasoned, like, perfectly, because there's so, like you were saying, there's a lot of other flavors and stuff. Mm -hmm. Plus, I still got to add the garlic paste right now to the... Yep, yep. Once you get uh, that mixed up, we're throwing it in. Is this good, right here? Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Good. Now we're going to toss it together. I wash my hands before this is, I promise. And then, too, when you guys are cooking that chicken, you want to make sure that you're cooking it so that way it's you take out most of the pink, get it a little bit white, then you're going to add in all your veggies. Okay, all right, guys, cool. so I've already warmed up the stove. I've got the coconut oil that's in the pan. This is what we're going to cook with. Um, so now that this is pretty warm, I'm going to go ahead and take our already seasoned chicken, and I'm going to throw that in there. Personally, I like to do this with tongs, so I'm just going to take my tongs and just toss this in there. I know this it. looks like a lot of chicken, but this is more than two portions. We're going to save the rest. Yes. All right, Nidra. So uh, walk them through. Like, what, it, what do they need to do now? So once you get your chicken on here, you want to let it cook. You don't want to let it cook all the way through, but you want to cook it until it's pretty white, um, but not dried. And then you're going to remove the chicken. After you remove the chicken, you're going to add your veggies to the same pan because everything that we're going to do, we're going to make this dinner super simple. We're just going to use one, one wok, one pan. That's all you need. Yep. Um, and that's what we're going to use for this. So now that I got my chicken in here, I'm going to keep the heat on medium to high and just let this cook. Once this is done cooking, I'm going to pull it off, add the veggies in, and then just continue with the seasonings. Cool. And then, so, um, maybe we'll just go ahead and show them the seasonings and how much we're going to put in. But what are the, like, last few things that go on top of the chicken? Um, so, oh, shoot, I forgot to add the, the garlic. Shoot. <laughs> Where can I put this? I'm going to just put this here. Yeah, yeah. So fine. the last thing that we're going to add is the garlic paste. Spoons right here. Bam. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Alright, so I'm just going to use this spoon. I'm not going to use a full tablespoon, um, but I am going to add oh, that garlic smells so good. about this much. So just add that in there. Dang, I love garlic. And once you're done with that, just mix it in. Cool. So we will update you guys when we remove the chicken, add the veggies, and then... Yep, yeah, and then we still have our coconut aminos. Coconut aminos is a really great alternative to soy sauce. Um, so that way you can bring down the sodium content on that. And then we're also going to add some sesame oil for flavor. So we're going to add some of that. And then once you mix all of this together and you get this cooking, all of the flavors from the vegetables, the chicken that's already seasoned, the garlic, everything is just going to come together so nicely. You want to show them our brown rice back here? Yep, yep, rice. Man. If you don't have a rice cooker, you're doing it wrong. You gotta get yourself a rice cooker. Is that like a pretty staple kitchen appliance? Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> I mean, I would think so. Yeah. All right, guys. So keep you updated when we do the next process. Gosh. We were just talking about how good this looks, but that smell. Ooh, it smells so bomb. <laughs> so pretty much, yeah. So Nidra, what what step? Uh, you remove the chicken. 
Yep, so we got the chicken here on the side. So as you can see, there's no pink. It's all it's cooked. It's white. It's not all the way cooked. We're going to add it back to this. I'm letting this just kind of saute a little bit longer. You don't want them to be too crispy. Um, I may have added a little bit too much of the aminos. I'm not going to lie, but it's all good. <laughs> so typically, like how much, if they're cooking this on their own, how much should a they A quarter add? of a cup. Depending on yeah, how much you're using. For me, I was like kind of based it. Um, so it was about here. So I definitely, I don't know. This may be about a quarter of a cup. I like sauce. It's good. So. And you, is, is that a, is that like high? That that is the one that doesn't have the high sodium, right? Yeah. So actually, I mean, it's still going to have your sodium in here. But you're looking at, where's my sodium count on here? 230 milligrams. Oh, compared nice. to a regular soy sauce that has about 1,000. Cool. 1500 so for the final process what are we gonna do so walk them through it we're i am actually gonna throw this chicken in now so we're just gonna and Ooh. also with the um the aminos that's on the bottom it will absorb into the chicken too so all of this will just just cook together yep. so I'm we're just gonna there. toss this is there any more ingredients no this is it this is simple basic super simple all one pan oh, one sesame dish sesame oil added it Oh, how much do you, sesame oil? Sesame oil, one teaspoon. Cool. And so teaspoon. I'll try to do the entire directions on the like the the process, but hopefully you guys can watch it and go through it, write down like the little steps that we've told. But like Nidra was saying earlier, I don't know if you said it on camera, but off camera it's like super simple, one skillet dish, and that's it, man. That's it's not complicated. Yeah, and then the best thing about these dishes too is like. We, once you get your rice already cooking, so like we got our rice over here cooking, so that takes, you know, a whole step out of this. And now that we're using just one pan, it makes your cleanup so much easier. Um, all the flavors get to cook together. And as Mookie said, like we can just smell all of the aromas. It smells mm. delicious. So once all of those saturate together, add a little bit of rice to the bottom of your plate. You'll see how we plate it. A little bit of rice, throw the veggies up on top, and it's time to eat. <laughs> well, plating is the most important part. Time to eat. <laughs> and the little stuff that we stored, the cutting board, you know, your boy already cleaned all that up. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. That's all right, how you get it done. That is a wrap for the stir fry. I've been wanting one for a long time. We already uh, did a show on camera. We tried the chicken. It is amazing. <laughs> Came out bomb. Yep, yep. That's, so, what, that's what teamwork is. Okay. Yeah, straight up. Like... And um, obviously with recording and stuff, it took a little bit longer. We took breaks, we talked. But if, I feel like if, if I was just to like want to do this, kind of like get it done, I can make this meal in 20 minutes, which is probably the time that it takes for the rice to cook. So like by the time the rice is done cooking, you'll have like your actual meal prep. And we have, how many do you think we have left over in there? Um, oh, that's probably another three meals. Yep. No so, joke, probably like two to three meals, yeah. <clears throat> so we went to Trader Joe's. I had, I already had the chicken breast at my house and we had to buy like stuff like the coconut oil. This has, that's all going to last like, like multiple uses. And, uh, it was 20 bucks guys. Like that's seriously, like, I think we barely, we didn't even tell them about that. Which is crazy to think about it too, because we, here we have two meals. A hey, take a bite. We have two meals right now that we're about to eat, but yet there's still about three servings left in there. And it, twenty dollars for five servings of, of meals and you know alone we were talking about this too i mean we'll spend anywhere between you know 14 to i don't know 50 bucks on a single meal mm -hmm. you know what i mean and that's like if you're not getting drinks or anything else yeah. like. you know so it's it's very very convenient in the sense of time cleanup cost and then how does it taste yeah okay so I have to give a review because that's what Mookie's Meals is about. Chicken is amazing. Only thing, I'm going to be honest, only thing I change, I like my, I like it a little more salty. All right? Okay. The vegetables are amazing. This rice though. I want to taste it. I'm like, the oh, rice I got to dig in. <laughs> it's a game changer, guys. It's unbelievable. The flavor of the vegetables, unbelievable. Nidra, this is a staple. I'm gonna be using this every. I'm gonna cook this yeah. every day. Like, like not every day. That's a little dramatic. I, but that's how I am. Like when I did my, I showed her my Montreal steak seasoning and chicken. I cooked that chicken like every single day. That's all I would eat is that seasoning. And it's just it's so like, easy and simple. And I like how we have this all meal prepped. It's so easy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that chicken is so bomb. See. 
I feel it's the perfect amount of sodium. A hundred percent. It's really like I'm a I'm excessive with that. And I I not I was thinking too with the coconut aminos. I thought maybe I used too much. Not at all. Oh, perfect. Because it absorbed into the chicken. It goes into the veggies. Um, there's even a little bit like I mean it. I mean now that we serve it on top of the rice and this jasmine rice. If mm -hmm. you don't like regular brown rice, go buy brown jasmine rice. Game changer. Huge difference in the in the taste of it. I think back this chicken seasoned perfectly. Thank you. You did that though. You really did. Is this seriously like? Yeah, I actually I was the one who actually seasoned the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that was like that was my one complaint. Everything is perfect. Anidra, what I noticed is I'm peep game on the way she cut the vegetables because like it's like I do it a lot more sloppy, and I don't know why I, like taste why they taste so bomb, but like. I like the way it's like this. I usually Thank do you. my bell peppers in like fat squares, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's like tastes different. Yeah, you know, I think it's it could be the way that it's cut is how it's also absorbed by like the food, like the the sauces, or yeah. you know. Well, but, if you look at all the top chefs, they're like particular about the way they cut. Yeah, and with something like this, you want those like, I mean, we could show you, you know, for like the bell peppers, you want them to be kind of like strands, not too thick, kind of thin. Mm -hmm. You know, same thing with the celery. We've got little tiny chunks of celery in here. Onions are still in here. Carrot slivers are in here. Oh my God. I think the biggest meal is going to be like the chicken and the broccoli. But and then, um, yeah, guys. So like, I, I just I'm ready to like smack this. This is so good. <laughs> I'm like it's so well, hungry too. Going. But yeah. So I'm gonna drop below Nidra's Instagram. We're getting her to come out with some more YouTube content. She says she wants to do some. So we're going to hold her I'm account. camera go, shy, so. <laughs> go to her Instagram and be like, Nidra, I need your workouts. I need, like, you need to put this out there. And, and let's get her motivated. And that's, so let's get it going, man. So that's a big thing that I know you were talking about. You want to uh, do, like, workout videos and different things, help motivate people. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, the same thing I'm trying to do. Same thing that Rare Breed is doing. So it's awesome. That's, like, my goal is I want to link with more people. Like I was saying, dropping her Instagram below. You can say it right now if you want, but it'll be in the description. I'll have it on the screen. So you will be able to find her. So before, before I do my like, comment, subscribe, you, you know how you did that little pop-up in my last video? Wait. I don't think you remember. You were at the gym. She, her hair was different. So that's oh. why you might not know. <laughs> I do few, know what you're talking about. There's so. a few people who comment that are like my OG from day one <laughs> commenters. And it's so funny because like I've done videos with my friend like Harley, Kristen, and some people like, Oh my god, they're like, you have to clap with her. She's so hot. Like, you have to do Crazy it. And it's so wild. funny. Because <laughs> I was like, on my YouTube, I, I was like, oh, Nidra, we should clap. I got so many comments. Like, people stuff. And that's how the same thing happened. I'm like, man, my people who watch my channel, they don't even care about me. They just want me to. No, they all care about you. <laughs> it was funny, though, because if it's the same day, like, I, I think I was, like, in the fridge. I was, like, grabbing a water or yep, something yep. random. Walking and out. And then he, like, wa oh, yeah, no, I was walking out. And then he, like, was, like, filming. And then I was like, oh, oh, I got to, <laughs> <laughs> like, what do I do? But, yeah, I actually just, I, I needed a change. And so I... I went light and the color does something fun and different. <laughs> yep. You know, we're going to do more videos. Yes. Today, I'm, I'm glad we had a lot of good conversation. Mm-hmm. Bomb we really We really bonded today. Yeah, seriously. No, mm -hmm. like, I've never really got to, like, so quick, like, how I know Nidra is her and Kevin for a long time worked together at mm -hmm. Motivate. And then... Kratos. Kratos, Kratos. Before it was Motivate. It was but, Kratos, yeah. I know. I just was like... 20 different names. Sorry. <laughs> but they used to work together at an old gym. Always were like super close friends. Yeah. Um, so Nidra came by the gym. Naturally, like we all, uh, she's just around the team, man. Super cool people. And that's just how it is. Like any of you guys, please come by the gym and vibe. And like we all want to push each other. So it's super cool. I asked Nidra to do this with me. I'm super thankful that you did this. Yeah, I'm grateful like, and thankful that you even asked Yeah, me like seriously. You. And that's like, I, I, peeping game from people who who are about that life and do it is what it's about and learn man and i know send me hard and maybe a lot of people didn't make it to the end of this video but man telling you there's like on her instagram she puts out so much good content what's that other instagram you have I, i'll make sure to put that one too like my, my my business page business page yeah my business page is organic compound fitness organic compound fitness so i have to that this me saying it out loud right now when i edit it's in my you'll me. know yeah yep. <laughs> so please like comment subscribe we're gonna eat now see you guys next time
Like, comment, subscribe on Mookie. <laughs> <laughs>